Welcome to Electro Online. There's nothing like a good few examples in order to understand something better. So, what better is there than to show you some examples of imaginary numbers, real numbers, and then complex numbers. Now, the real numbers, of course, can be pi, 42, negative 2 over 5, the square root of the 2, 56.5. All those are what we call real numbers. They actually fit onto the real number line. Imaginary numbers always have something to do with the letter i. i, by def definition, is equal to the square root of negative 1. So when we have 5 times the square root of negative 1, it's the same as saying 5 times i, or a third i, or 0.01i, or 54.5i. All those are imaginary numbers. They all involve the square root of negative 1. Now notice that 1 third i is 1 third the square root of negative 1. 0.01i is the same as 0.01 times the square root of negative 1, or 54.5i is the same as 54.5 times the square root of negative 1. Of course, it's not always the square root of negative 1. We could have the square root of negative 4. But then you can see that this can be separated into the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1. Of course, the square root of negative 1 is i, and the square root of 4 is 2. So that then becomes 2i. So it always comes down to being able to refine it and, and be able to simplify it down to the square root of negative 1, which then makes that an imaginary number. Now, when we add an imaginary number to a real number, we get what we call a complex number. So by definition, a complex number is the sum of a real number and an imaginary number. Typically, we write the imaginary number last and the real number for first, but it doesn't really matter. You can change the order of that. And also, of course, we don't have to add them line by line. We can add pi to one-third i, and we can have pi plus one-third i, which is a complex number. So it doesn't matter. Any sum of any imaginary number and any real number added together forms a complex number. And so now you realize what a complex number is. Now we have to maybe investigate a little bit more about the concept of the number i and what imaginary numbers are, and then we're going to learn to do algebra with complex numbers. And that's what this, num this video set is all about.